It's hanging off because you fight the iron with it. So get rid of it. down here so at home I have like one of those ironing mats that's pretty big and I have a big four by eight foot table that's elbow height mm. <laughs> so I have that mat that this goes on flat flat on the table and then I have the big board that is this way so I'm not if you were in class you'd have to like move this over here to press it onto that move it back here to use the board. So I have them where they're stay, they stay where they're at. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. No, you never, okay. you try not to move this. Don't move this a lot. Okay. So we're just gonna be jealous. You can be <laughs> jealous, or you can get two ironing boards and make an L <laughs> and stand in the middle and have one on one and one on the other. That's the cheapest way to get it, two ironing boards. So you're gonna start, and one piece just has to go down first. So that could be this piece. <laughs> So I'm going to put it in place and tack it with the iron so that it stays. And the edges have been turned under? No, no. one piece is just flat, so that's oh, the first, the first piece. piece is flat. Okay. So then I could take this guy and I can just turn this edge because this edge is not turned, right? So you just start with one and then it kind of tells you what everything else is going to be. That's why it's really hard to say for you, you need to put that piece down first and that right. piece will be turned. Or like people say, when I, before I start, do I have to know which head's going to be on top? No, because this is one that you determine that. Okay. And if it ends up that you put this one down first and the next one needs to go under it, you could just slide it under it. So there really the isn't. Corner? Sometimes. Oh, okay. That's all I got to work with right here. Wherever it's easy to start. Doesn't really matter. There's no right or wrong. So I'm turning that edge. You make that look so easy. I know. I know. And that just, just really <laughs> probably challenge. irritates some of you because yes, it does. I've been doing it for 30 some odd years. What was her question? She said, I make that look so easy. But the stiletto and the edge turning. Factors. So then that goes on top of that. And I'll tack it down. Don't touch the iron to the stabilizer because you'll get stuff on your iron. So then now I could get that little piece. And so what I do is I hold it here and I go, okay, this was not turned, so I need to turn this edge and that edge. I don't like them. They're not hot enough, and they t you take too long. This is you. You want to have the heat of this iron. Do you have it on a cotton setting? I have it on a hot setting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You want the length of the iron to dry that, to heat it. So if you have a teeny tiny little iron, you have to wait till that part gets heated, and wait till that part. Gets <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is, you want to get the length of the iron to dry that, to heat it. So if you have a teeny tiny little iron, you have to wait till that part gets heated, and wait till that part. Gets... <laughs> I don't think it's going to be cooler if you shut the doors. But maybe, go ahead, let's try it. It might be trying to cool the hallway. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Well, I hear it running. Yeah, I'm not trying to heat that. Yeah, it's pretty hot. It's almost over. <laughs> Two more hours. <laughs> <laughs> you should be class. Here, and then I fly out tomorrow to Phoenix. Mm. And start all over. And start all over again. What are you teaching your feet? Uh, my stitched paintings, the two-day class I taught here. So look at that, how nice that's turning out. Mm -hmm. And so now I would get this next piece. I find this to be really soothing. Mm -hmm. Your choices are all made. It's all messy here. Well, you're not, yours isn't very messy, but some of them <laughs> get messy when there's lots of little pieces. Mm -hmm. And so it's just sort of cleaning it up. Yeah. Now, this edge has been turned on from the red one. And there's two pieces that meet up at that line. So I'm going to fold the same edge that's already folded. So this was the flat one. So I'm just going to turn this edge. Let me just do it really quick. 
So you don't consider the lighter the dark? Nope. More nope. being consistent with nope. what it's near? Nope. <laughs> uh, you can always trim it from the back. Yeah. I'm starting to think why I said that. Because sometimes you get this shadow. If, you, if it bothers you, then yeah, think about <clears> that. What do you do when you have long points on the end? Just cut them off? Um, at this point, I don't have any long points on the end. I did. Just with the marker. I'd have to see it to see what I would do with it. And so then this piece needs that and that. Yeah, when you put down that first yellow there, you kind of laid the iron on the blue. Are you kind of solidifying that? No. no. Yeah. Putting the yellow you're still tacking gosh not yeah I'm still just tacking I'm trying to think of what I'm doing because I just do it and but I know you guys you, don't just do it so that you could um, lift both up and move something if you wanted to you betcha so that stuff is repositionable you betcha okay. <gasps> she's so far <laughs> don't hold down <laughs> Just put it back down. <clears throat> but if you don't, like some people are like, oh, I'm not going to touch it with the iron until they're all in the perfect place. Well, every time you touch it, they move, and it just yeah. drives you nuts. So I tack them as I go, and I adjust to the one that's been down there before. And, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's applique. It's not piecing. Okay. Then let's say so I don't I don't turn my whole piece like I wouldn't get it all cut out and then turn all the pieces mm -hmm. and then move this to the I, this thing to sew mm -hmm. because they're gonna jump off. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're, they're it's deli it's just delicate. So I would like with yours I would get the rest of that turned and then I would sew that leaving this edge unsewn so that you could if you need mm -hmm. to slip something under or over and then you know work on another maybe this section. And then work on that section. So I'd probably do this in one, two, three, four sections. Do you cut that apart? Or no, 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 no. Just fold up the just like this. Now I'm going to go sew this, okay. and then I'd go back and keep building on it. So don't ever okay. cut this up. This is the point of this: is to keep it in. Are you continuous streaming? Please. Don't.